so whoops, I did it again. Bought something I don't need with money I don't have. I'll show you. Alright, let's get you wider. Here it is. It is a 1982 Corolla. It's got the in front end. It is remarkably complete and I would say fairly clean for the age. Let's get her opened up. Here in Arizona it's hard to find them like this because the sun just destroys these things and most people um, they they get them from here because they want some rust-free cars. It's kind of hard to see. It kind of sucks, but it's got Evo 8 Recaros in the front, and I think they suit it quite nice. Stock back seat. Partial tray is even in decent shape. sure if there's supposed to be stuff there but <clears throat> really the only thing the interior needs is this to be fixed which for for what it is I'm not too mad at that <clears throat> let's go over here I threw these uh, checkered floor mats in they're four and eight six but they fit this thing perfectly um, it's got a working stereo and believe it or not, working AC. Um, the main issue that it has, um, I replaced the shifter because um, it was blown out. So I, I had one sitting around that was in better shape. So now it has minimal slop. Um, <clears throat> the issue that it has is this, the main um, bolt holding the steering wheel on is a little bit stripped out so I have to figure out how I want to fix that but um, that'll be a later day let's pop the hood TC with just a header, Weber carb. Um, when I first got this thing, hold on, my OCD is gonna drive me nuts. Um, <clears throat> haven't done anything to the engine. It runs very well. See, it's still it's got converted R134 A AC. Um, all the heater stuff's hooked up. Um, <clears throat> It's a manual steering car. Unfortunately, it's still, you know, the old school style of steering box steering. Um, so what I've done to it is I built some coilovers for it. These are, these were just like some random camper plates. I re-drilled them. I didn't re-drill the strut tower, I re-drilled the plates and made it so um, I could build some coilovers, use the stock housings with some shorter stroke shocks and um, some 250 pound spring so it rides pretty good has some actual play in the suspension it's not bad it's got msd 6al what else um yeah it's got the cool front in the rear so when i got it it just had uh had some cut springs up front Had some cut springs up front. So I built the coilovers for it. So it is a little better. Um, I put some TRD, cut TRD blues in the rear. It's got Coney blues. Um, it sits pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this thing. Uh, not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I think I'm just gonna drive it. I don't 
really think there's much I can do. Um, what I do have for it, and I'm gonna be post. This is just like a show you what I got, and then this is gonna be. I'm gonna post a video here. I got a. This is a Camaro front lip. So I'm gonna be tossing that under there. Should give the front a little bit better of a look. But yeah, anyways, that's all I wanted to do. Just wanted to show you the new whip. Oh yeah, I got this wagon too. It's a 101 wagon. This thing's pretty cool. <laughs> do I got a problem or what? Black interior, five speed. It's got the seven AFE. Let's show you this one too. Might as well. Super clean on the interior. It uh, exterior the paint's a little tired, but you know what are you gonna do? It's Arizona. Pretty clean seven AFE. Um, it's got like the strut bar. It's just got factory struts in it right now. Put a little intake on it. Uh, it's got the VMS wires. What else? Uh, that's really it. Um, basically just a really solid, good MPG car. I think I'm going to probably end up getting some coilovers for it and some wheels. Just so it looks a little better. A6 is still on hold until it cools off. <clears throat> but anyways, that is it. All right. Take it easy. Oh, yeah. The next video will be me installing that lip. Peace.